Levis slipped out of the first round and was selected by my Titans in the second round of the 2023 NFL Draft, and today I'm playing his entire career and not stopping until the day he retires. He starts off as a super respectable 72 overall rookie, and with him still in his early 20s, there is plenty of time for this man to go off and surprise everybody by joining that 99 club. For him to start though, we have got to get rid of Tannehill. What would teams potentially give me for old Ryan? Honestly, dude, you can't go wrong with Jerry Judy a 69 and a draft pick. Done deal. Okay, so that's much better. Now from here, we're simming to the end of his rookie season and will continue to do so each and every year following his career every step of the way until Will actually makes a Super Bowl, which at that point, I'll play the entire game and try my absolute best to get him his first ring. And as a Titans fan, it'll be interesting to see if he stays a Titan for life or if at the end of his rookie contract, he betrays me and takes a big payday elsewhere. With this absolute putrid offense though, Will is gonna need an absolute miracle to succeed in his rookie season. So last place really wasn't the aim. At least our offense wasn't dead last. To be fair, that's not actually terrible from William given what he had to work with. 4,500 yards, 25 touchdowns to only 12 picks. Don't think you'll be surpassing King Henry in the running game anytime soon though. Thank God for Jerry Judy. Like I don't know where this offense would have been without him. Please tell me at least got a rookie of the year vote or two or not. Oh gosh, don't tell me. Okay, he did squeak in the top 10. And a slight improvement year one up to a 74 overall. Not horrible, but we need that to fast track a little bit because I need him to at least make it to an 85 because that's just one of the 10 challenges we need William to complete before he calls it quits on his NFL career. Along with breaking the Titans single season passing touchdown record, also breaking the team's single season passing yard record. He has to find a way to win an NFL MVP. He has to lead a top five NFL offense on five separate occasions. He has to throw for 250 career passing touchdowns. He has to lead the league in passing yards. He has to win a Super Bowl. He has to win Super Bowl MVP without throwing for a touchdown. Wishful thinking that he actually makes a Super Bowl. And also has to finish top 10 all time in either passing touchdowns or passing yards. With any extra Super Bowl win he may get, counting in replace of a challenge of my choosing. And if he fails even just one of the 10 challenges we set out, I have to buy a Will Levis Titans jersey and give it away to a random subscriber in the comments. I can't believe I might have to waste my money on a jersey that I really don't even want myself, and I'm a freaking Titans fan. <laughs> Don't be wasting money in this economy. Come on, William. As long as one of our division rivals doesn't win a Super Bowl before us, I'm okay with it. Now it's time to track what our front office actually does this offseason, and by God, please spend your money on wide receivers on offensive talent. We need to surround William with better players. I mean, it does sort of seem like a lot of mid, but you know what? I'm willing to put my faith in Robbie Anderson. Better than nothing. Now let's go out and acquire a massive draft class here so we can surround William with other young talent. I mean, to be fair, I've seen much worse. At least we got ourselves a solid lineman. I mean, it might not be much, but at least this offense looks a little bit better than the start of last season. I just ask here in year number two, can we please not come in last place again? Looks like the misery continues. Why does our offense suck so bad? Will Levis, what are you doing, brother? How do you throw 25 interceptions in a single season? My Titans really might have made a massive mistake. Day. This offense should go back to the days of giving Derrick Henry 400 carries a season. I feel like the receiving core put up pretty good numbers. To add insult to injury, Ryan Tannehill about threw for 5,000 yards and 44 touchdowns. He even got MVP votes. He's at a 76 overall. That's not good. At least in the midst of all this depression, we can be happy for Lamar. All I ask from our front office is to spend their available $84 million. Oh my god, dude! This right here is what I call making a statement. This honestly might be one of the best, if not the best free agent class I've seen in any of these videos. Let's get that perfect cherry on top here though with an impeccable draft class. Followed that up with what might be the worst draft class I've ever seen in these videos. It can never just be all smiles, can it? In the next season, and I will say this offense looks so much more promising, and I fully expect for our defense to be a top 10 unit again. I will literally take anything over another 7 and 10 season here. Oh yes, the curse has been broken, right where we belong on top of the AFC South. I think we literally went undefeated all season long in our division. We literally just went to having one of the worst offenses in the entire NFL to a top 5 unit. I'll take any progress at this point. Now that is what I'm talking about, William. 5,200 yards, 
36 touchdowns to only 14 interceptions, 11 less than last year. And although 36 passing touchdown only ties the Titan record, 5,200 yards absolutely annihilates the passing yard record. Finally, something to be jubilant about. Now, did he lead the NFL in passing yards? <laughs> no, he didn't. That would be Tyler Huntley with his 5,700 yards passing and 49 touchdowns. Hold on, don't tell me Tyler Huntley won NFL MVP. Oh my god. With his 70 overall grown self. Still wish they gave Derek more carries. Did we actually just have Foster Moreau get a thousand yards in a single season, you legend? And even though he had a great season, he's only up to a 77 overall? How is this guy ever gonna reach an 85? At least this season was a massive step in the right direction. Can we please just not get first rounded? Oh my gosh, we got absolutely annihilated. That definitely puts a damper on things. The team that beat us made it to the Super Bowl, but they were no match for Tyler Huntley. Why do I feel like this offseason our front office is not gonna spend a singular dime on free agents? Oh man, just make it make sense. Our marquee signings were Raphael Fulton and Dexter Bolivas. That crap better be followed up here by the best draft class in NFL history. Now that right there is much more like it, although I'm not real sure about a wide receiver named Dudley. Into 2025, despite the limited offseason improvements, I still think this unit can make it to the playoffs. Literally anything but another 7-10 and 10 season. I think I'd rather go 6-11. and 11. Gladly will take 10-7 and 7 over 7-10. and 10. Another division crown. For the life of me, though, we cannot get first rounded by the Colts here. We only won half of our games against the AFC South this year, so that's kind of disappointing. Not quite another top 5 offense, but we've seen much worse. What an incredible season here from William. He really has turned things up the last two years. And this season for sure makes me happy, my friends, because these 43 passing touchdowns are good for a brand new Titan single season record. He didn't lead the league in passing, but he did come top five. I mean, these aren't quite your prototypical Derrick Henry numbers, but my God, dude, in running back years, he's a great grandfather at this point. Thousand yards a season's impressive. We had three 1,000 yard receivers, bro. As a Titans fan, man, I would love to see the day we had production like this. Please tell me Will at least got some MVP votes this year. He came top five, so that's promising. And his overall creeping on up there like a turtle, up to 79. He's already 26, though, about to turn 27, so I'm kind of worried he really won't reach an 85, which would not be good for my bank account. I think at this point, it's well beyond time for the Titans to make Will Levis a captain. Now, let's see if our captain can take us out of the first round of the playoffs for the first time in about five seasons. Just please don't get first rounded by the Colts, dude. Oh, that's horrible. I would have rather lost in the Super Bowl by 75 than lose to the Colts. Just please don't tell me the Colts make the Super Bowl. You have got to be kidding me. Please don't tell me Anthony Richardson wins one before Will. Oh, praise God. Although his overall isn't skyrocketing, at least after the playoff loss, he improved his superstar. It looks like there'll be no suspense either because he already re-signed a three-year extension. So at least the Titans have a pretty manageable contract for the next three years. That means you should spend all of that available money on free agents this offseason so you never lose to the Colts in the playoffs again. Oh no, dude. You knew the day was gonna come, but this is still sad. Please tell me we signed somebody to replace him. Oh my god, this is the most mid-free agency I think I've ever seen. I mean, some okay players mixed in there, but like we signed seven running backs to replace them instead of just one good one. Like, what was the point in all this? Oh gosh, it looks like we lost Traylon. This is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. We have got to draft somebody to fill a spot here. This is actually quite horrible. 2026, the first time in a decade the Titans don't have Derrick Henry on offense, but can this be the year that Will really makes the offense his? Because I really like winning the division like we have the last few seasons, so hopefully we can do the same here this year, even though we lost Derrick. No Derrick Henry, no problem. Another division title, but let's not get first rounded for the third straight season. We lose Derrick Henry and Will leads the second best offense in the league. Go figure. Having a top three offensive and defensive unit really means we could go on a serious Super Bowl run this year. Will Levis, you absolute beauty. I mean, 17 receptions is a lot, but 43 touchdowns, 5,500 yards isn't too shabby. Now, please tell me that's good for best in the league. And it is. He did the impossible and threw for more yards than Tyler Huntley. Our boy Will's starting to make some serious progress.
guess. We'll have to see, though, if this was good enough for MVP. I mean, that's definitely a lot lower average yard per carry than what our King Henry was getting. And oh my gosh, dude, forget these two guys. Look at our boy Dudley stepping in for Traylon, having a massive season. For some reason, though, I think those 17 interceptions is gonna knock him out of the MVP award. Yes, it does. Stupid freaking Patrick. At least fourth place is the highest finish of his career. Up to a legit 82 overall, though, so it continues to slowly and surely improve. Now, for the love of God, can we please not get first rounded? You've got to be kidding me! These are the times, my friends, when it's hard to keep the faith, but we must continue forward. Oh, what a unique Super Bowl winner. You have $39 million to spend. Spend every freaking penny. Although Joseph retired, it does look like we signed a lot of free agents. Not much quality outside of Vita Vea, but at least we got some numbers. I'd do anything for a perfect draft class here to round out the offseason. Not too shabby. Might have really got ourselves our long-term Derrick Henry replacement. Let's go, Carlos. 2027, I'm speaking it into existence. This is the team that's finally gonna go on a legit Super Bowl run. But by God, if we actually do make the playoffs again, can we just please not get first rounded? I mean, you can't help but be disappointed at not winning the division, but this definitely beats all those prior 7 and 10 seasons. A big drop off from our offense this year. I mean, that's still quite the performance from Will. 44 touchdowns to only 11 interceptions, and those 11 interceptions might be enough to give him a few MVP votes. Not sure if he'll win it, though. So the running game is why we saw. I knew we were gonna miss Derek. At least our receivers are still putting up massive numbers. We've got to get Dudley a ring. Please tell me our boy got some MVP votes. I think that's back-to-back fourth-place finishes. And he's still only an 83 overall. Like, he really might not make it to 85. He'll be 30 at the end of next season, so this is not good. I don't want to tell you the bad things I do to avoid getting first-rounded this time. We should be the favorites. We have so much more talent. And we win! Not to damper the mood or anything, but we have to go and beat the 16-1 Bengals now. But for the first win in Will Levis' career, I'll give you a little twerk. I'm just gonna go ahead and simulate to the Super Bowl. So we won't have to be sad skipping the next week and see a loss. I knew it. We actually beat the Bengals only to go and lose to the 4 seed Dolphins. We were literally one game shy. Wait, when the frick did Will get a Superstar X Factor? I think he literally just got it last week. That's a really good thing. A really, really good thing. Because we need this man to grow one more overall. Still crazy after everything he's done. There's still 21 QBs rated higher than him. Blasphemy. Nah, at least we lost to the Super Bowl champs. Now he went down in overall. What do you mean? This is an emotional roller coaster that I'd rather not be on right now. The man is almost 30 and he still has so much left he needs to accomplish for my bank account to be safe. And this really could be his final season as a Tennessee Titan. So we really do need our front office to go all out here. I mean, at least I have to give my front office props for trying. Another solid draft class here would be very much appreciated too. I guess this class is all going to be decided by how good Goldberg is. Into 2028, this could be Will's final season as a Titan, so can this group please make this year count? If this truly is Will's final season as a Titan, I think you'll be thrilled with a first round buy. Maybe there's something magical in the air. Is that not the same offensive finish as we had last year? I mean, that's definitely less yardage and touchdowns than we've been accustomed to the last few years, but hey, at least he protected the football. Looks like Tyler here vultured all of Will's touchdowns. Oh, for the first time in a few seasons, we didn't have three 1,000-yard receivers. I highly doubt those numbers won him an MVP, although we got our first round by. Oh my gosh, he came in second. Why do I feel like this is the closest we're ever gonna get? How has this man not made it to an 85 yet? This challenge is gonna be the death of me. But at least for Will, the 37 touchdowns from this season officially give him more than 250 for his career. Players do improve throughout the playoffs, so if we can win one playoff game, maybe Will can scrape 85 overall? We have to beat the 9-8 Patriots. We did not play our hearts out to get a first round by only to go and lose our playoff game to the 9-8 Patriots? We got the win, but now the Colts stand in our way of our first Super Bowl burn. Why do I know we're gonna lose this? I'm jumping into the game so we can witness our fate together. Their QB isn't even Anthony Richardson, it's Adrian Ruiz. Let's just get off to a fast start here. 7 nothing. that's what I'm talking about. Keep on scoring, 14 nothing. How? It's 14-3 now. 14-6. At least we're only holding the field goal. 17-6. Oh, gosh. Now a four-point game. Now an 
an 11-point game. The, the Colts just keep kicking field goals, dude. Now it's a tie game. Oh, now they take the lead, bro. And we tie the game. We tie things up. It's overtime, bro. It's overtime. Field goal. Field goal. Let's go. My heart, bro. My heart. Take that, Franklin. That's officially our first Super Bowl for the Tennessee Titans in over 20 seasons. I was like four years old the last time we made a Super Bowl. The Titans have got to give Will Levis all the money in the world after this. 28 years old and that just gave me an adrenaline rush. And boys, would you look at that. With the click of a button, Will Levis is now officially in 85 overall. Officially halfway to sparing my bank account. Please give me the Lions. Thank you. Although they have a 93 overall offense, this is our time to shine, boys. And don't forget, not only do we have to win this Super Bowl, I have to win the Super Bowl MVP with Will without throwing for a touchdown. We're gonna have to get a little creative. So just don't let Lamar Jackson and the Lions score on drive number one. I mean, they do have a 93 overall offense, and we force them to punt. And great, we get the ball on the two-yard line here anything but a safety anything but a safety Dudley with the catch that's what I'm talking about this man's wide open wide freaking open he hangs on to it I think that's Dudley see if we can get this ball down to like the one two yard line and maybe sneak it in with Will because we can't rush for touchdowns and what are the odds we can successfully convert a quarterback sneak on a second and goal from the two two yard QB sneak is he in? He's in! Will Levis, of all people, just scored a rushing touchdown in the Super Bowl. Now, can we keep the Lions out of the end zone again? We do! Do a lot more work to do, but what a good start. Foster Moreau, I am thinking about it as I'm throwing it to him. The man's been here for over 20 years, it feels like. Looks like we're gonna throw a pick. So that's not what we needed at all for that moment in time, ever. And of course, they're gonna go and score. That's on me, I'm the problem. Dudley? Dudley's an open boy. Dudley's an open man. He's gonna make the grab and we're gonna get out of bounds strategically at about the three yard line. What an answer to the Lions touchdown drive. Now let's definitely try and scramble in here again. Can we get the edge? No. What are the odds for another two yard QB sneak? The touchdown? It's a touchdown! That's got to be a record for the most two yard quarterback sneak touchdowns recorded in a single Super Bowl. Oh gosh, they're gonna score, aren't they? Hey, holding these Lions to a field goal is equivalent to a pick six in a normal game. Foster Moreau again wide open, you crazy boy. Just get the first down here. A little bit too nervous for my liking. Oh, that's a bad guy in my face. Wide open. You're gonna be wide open you're gonna allow for a pick that is just not what we needed there especially when we're trying to win an mvp we gotta pick ourselves. let's go travis cheeky little screen pass here and <laughs> again that's just not what we needed oh i kind of froze a little bit man we probably had open receivers and i completely missed them Oh, this has been a nightmare do we really try a 62 yard field goal chase mclaughlin chase is this a thing did he make that? What in the world? Nailing a 62 yarder going into half? Can we not go three and out to start the half? Oh, he's wide open, bro. Please make the grab. Please make the grab. He made the grab. Let's get out of bounds at about the two. I don't even know who you are. Can we get Russian touchdown number three of the Super Bowl for Will Levis? No. Can we get our third two yard quarterback sneak touchdown of the game? I think we did. We did, dude. It's OP. And you just knew the Lions weren't going to make it easy. Looking for Curtis Samuel on the outside. He has so much space, bro. So much space. He's going to make the catch. And once again, get out of bounds at about the two. The Lions secondary is horrible. Can this be quarterback sneak touchdown number four for Will? It's too easy. I still don't know if he has MVP on lock, though. Those two interceptions really could screw him. Our defense forced the three and out. That's beautiful. Dudley's open. Dudley hangs on, and Dudley gets even more yards. Need a good throw here, Will. Jerry Judy finally goes up to make a catch. If I somehow choke this game, I'll swallow this entire glass bottle whole. Okay, three turnovers. Oh no, okay, th that's just not good. I really just do not. I do not want to have to swallow an entire bottle. This is a glass bottle. Like, that cannot be healthy. Three turnovers, though, really could screw them for that MVP. And <laughs> they score immediately. Dang it, Jamie. Now it's the smart thing to pad the stats or just chew the clock and secure the dub. Ah, you best believe we're trying to pad these stats. Goldberg. 
Goldberg checks in with his first catch of the Super Bowl. Let's pick up the easy little yards here. Continue to pat stab. Look at Foster Moreau turning a little crossing route into a 15-yard gain. Can you guys please not be on my case on why it's a third down and 28? We do need quite the miracle here. Just catch it or not. That almost was another pick. I really do think the smart thing here is just to punt the football. Don't let them score. Don't let them score. Please don't let them score. Please, dear God, don't let them score. They're gonna score, aren't they? They're gonna score. They're gonna score. They're gonna score. They scored. They actually just scored. I can't choke this. I can't lose this. Let's just play this thing slow yet conservative. Oh, no. What are the actual freaking odds there? Oh, my God. Yes! Hold them to a field goal, please. They scored immediately. Oh my god, how did this happen? My screen's jiggling now. They're blitzing literally everybody. Jerry Judy, thank you. Hang on to that football. I think I'm gonna try and score as the time runs out and go for two and go for the win. I cannot go to overtime. My heart can't take it. Get the first down and live to see another set of downs. Same play again. If you're gonna give me 10 yards a pop, I'll take it. Less than 40 seconds to go now, dude. I mean, I guess I don't actually have to score with Will, but it would be much preferred. I mean, I'd rather not lose on top of everything else. Please, I beg, I beg, hang on. Jerry Judy dropped the ball. It's a fourth and 19. I cannot even begin to describe the miracle we need right now. Please, somebody get open. Please, somebody get open. Nobody's open. Please hang on. He made the catch. Oh my God, get out of bounds. Get out of bounds. Oh my God. Miracles, dudes. Miracles. Will Levis, you better. And I mean, you better get into this end zone. This is when we actually get stopped. I'm going to cry Will Levis for like the 76 time scores on a QB sneak in the Super Bowl. But now, dude, I, I think I'm just going to go for it. I have to. I'm literally just going to give this to my running back, Aaron Jones. You screwed us earlier. You fumbled when you shouldn't have. Now it's all in your hands to make amends please don't choke please don't choke please don't choke we take the lead there is three seconds left i do not want to have to shove this bottle down my throat just for the love of everything that is holy bro do not allow a touchdown here chicken please no nonsense no nonsense no nonsense we actually did it dude i don't want to cry i'm 28 oh by the skin of our freaking shaft bro we should have never been in that situation but i really don't care oh will levis beats lamar jackson in the super bowl we'll find out whether or not he won mvp but right now we're gonna celebrate this super bowl dub and as amazing of an accomplishment this truly is we still have so much left to accomplish to be in the clear. We don't even know if this guy is going to be a Titan next season. Of course, William won Super Bowl MVP. Are you kidding me? Slow and steady progress like a majestic turtle. Now for the moment of truth, my friends. Will Will Levis actually sign a new contract to stay a Titan? Of course he's still here. You really thought they were going to let him go after winning a Super Bowl? Another little modest three-year deal, only worth about $50 million. Like, I think the Titans got off good here. Imagine paying a superstar QB coming off a Super Bowl victory, only $10 million a season. I mean, it looks like the front office isn't serious about going back to back. Maybe they can make up for it with a decent draft class. Oh, yay, we suck again. Into next season, what are the actual odds this team can go back to back? As long as we're back in the playoffs again, I'll be okay. Ah, they only gave it to the Texans because of alphabetical order. Definitely don't mind having the league's top offense. Not too shabby. 5,600 yards, 36 touchdowns, to only eight interceptions. This could possibly be MVP numbers. Thank God he had a good year because our running game sucked. Absolute mental production from the wide receiver core. Never did I think a guy named Dudley Cherry would be this good. Please tell me Will broke the curse and finally won an MVP. Lamar Jackson, screw you. Everything's fine. We're just gonna go and win ourselves another Super Bowl or not. We made it to the conference championship. We even beat the Chiefs along the way. Oh my gosh, we really could have won another one. I mean, I'm not complaining, but my God, where do the off seasons like this come from? What the f 
frick? I guess we were saving up the last few off seasons. My gosh. I guess free agency is gonna have to make up for this crap. Into the new decade, and my god, dude, this offense looks ridiculous. But we'll have to see here if the team's ridiculous enough to go on another super serious Super Bowl run. I mean, that's kind of disappointing, but I'm still happy with it at the same time. How does this happen, dude? We were number one last year. It's not like Will played much worse than normal. Our running game sucked as usual. Definitely did not get the production here that I anticipated. I'll tell you right now, if we actually make the Super Bowl, I will be extremely shocked, but happy regardless. Not happy. I'll take the fact that we didn't get first rounded. Will is now up to 32 years of age. He's still hanging on to his X Factor, but he is down to an 84. Be willing to bet within two or three seasons, he'll be under an 80. At least it looks like our front office hasn't gave up yet. They still can't draft worth a crap though. Into 2031, and there's no way that this offense performs as poorly as they did last year. That'd literally be impossible, right? At least that is better than last year. Hopefully we can say the same about the offensive production, and we came top five! We are so close, my friends! I'm in a solid season from Will, but I think the 18 interceptions will take him out the MVP conversation. Maybe if Carlos didn't vulture away 20 touchdowns. Oh my god, what a signing George was. Now go ahead and let me down again here. I'm so tired of you. We're back to not even finishing top 10. It doesn't matter because Will doesn't care about individual accolades. He cares about making it to another Super Bowl. And the crazy man actually did it. We thankfully didn't get first rounded. We easily got past the Patriots in the divisional and then went on to beat those stupid Bengals in the conference championship. Let's go and get Tennessee our second ring. Bastard offense, please, or just let the Cowboys score just like that. Although we do tie things up and the Cowboys regain the lead by three. We tie things up before halftime and the Cowboys go and kick another field goal. We take the lead. They retake the lead. What is happening? We do give up a touchdown. Oh, this is not going good at all. We need to score very, very quick. Stop them. Score touchdown. We take the lead. We win. I think we just won. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> Let's forget that ever happened. Hopefully we fix our defense in the offseason so we can make it back to the Super Bowl next year. When our front office is feeling spicy, they don't mind splashing the cash. They still can't draft that well, though. Will's 33, man. He's starting to run out of time. This team has got to perform well this season. William just continues to claim the AFC South is his. Please tell me we finished with another top five offense. I beg you, no! 4,800 yards, 31 touchdowns to 11 interceptions. I'm so tired of Carlos. At least we still have good receivers. We are back to not even finishing in the top 10. I don't mean to sound pessimistic, but I really don't like our odds to make it to back-to-back -back Super Bowls. Okay, maybe I was wrong? How did this happen? We almost got first rounded by the seven seed, then went on to destroy Patrick Mahomes in the divisional, and of course we took care of the Jags in the conference championship. There is no way that we choke two consecutive Super Bowls, right? We go off to a 7-0 quick start, 10-0 please, make this simple. 10 to 3, go on top, 13 to 3, going into halftime, of course they score, of course they do, they're gonna take the lead here, they tie things up, we go on top, 20-13, we keep them out of the end zone. Come on. Come on, please. Now, it's a tie game, of course. Please, score some points. Score some points. We kick a field goal. They win. Oh, we actually just choked two consecutive Super Bowls as time expired. Blasphemy. Ridiculous. I'm fuming, bro. I'm actually fuming. Although we did, again, spend decent money in free agency, why did we sign Mac Jones? Oh, because Will's not there anymore. So that definitely is a twist. Where the frick did he go? Oh, no, dude. There he is. Who did he? join the Giants. Yo, he teamed back up with Goldberg. I really thought this man was gonna stay a Titan for life. I mean, he only signed a one-year $5 million contract. I mean, at least he inherits a super solid offense around them. He has an okay defense too. Maybe they could go on a run. Yo, they actually know how to draft stud receivers here too. I'm sure 8-9 wasn't the year Will was anticipating in New York. How offense was horrible. Oh, this man is never gonna win in 
MVP. I didn't realize this receiver tandem's kind of nasty. I just hope he doesn't retire after this year. At least we know Will extended his contract already, so he's back at least for one more season. At least the front office continues to keep their foot on the gas. I didn't realize Will dropped all the way to a 77 overall. How has he hung on to his X Factor up to this point? Wait, when did we get Drake London? We made a slight adjustment to our offensive scheme this season, and I really, really hope it pays dividends. Did we seriously just go 8-9 and nine again? We had the 12th best offense. Now, that actually is a really good season from Will, but I don't think that's good enough for an MVP. How is this not a top 5 offense? I mean, I would gladly take a surprise here. Oh my god! Are you actually kidding me? At 104 years old, Will Levis finally wins a league MVP! You just gotta believe, boys! Just gotta trust this big sign. I just really hope he doesn't retire. Well, hopefully he doesn't return to the Giants because they just lost their best wide receiver target. He's down to a 74 overall with normal development. At least they signed a few receivers. Into 2035, the big question here is whether or not Will Levis has one more miracle left in him. And before we finish this season 17 to no, and everybody out there thinks I cheated, I never have good things happen here without people thinking I'm a criminal. It's not 17 to no, but at this point I will take a 10 and 7 season. The fate for Will Levis's career all lies in the click of a button here. Please tell me we finished with a top five offense, I beg. Let's go! I told you guys we just had to believe. I mean, considering the fact he's only a 76 overall, this was not a bad year. And these two receivers were game changer pickups out of free agency. What are the odds this freaking team can actually make it to a Super Bowl? Odds are zero. We got first rounded, but dude, I really don't care. I got a sneaky suspicion, man, that Will's actually gonna retire here. And I don't know if he has enough yards or touchdowns to finish top 10 all time. It always comes down to the wire, doesn't it? Well, Patrick Mahomes retires as a Titan, if you care. The question is whether or not Will's name's gonna pop up on this list. Oh, I just had a feeling it was coming. After 14 years, our man calls it quits. But what are the odds that our man finished top 10 all time in either passing yards or passing touchdowns? And our man barely, just barely, sneaked his way into the top 10. And thank God for that, because he didn't even finish top 10 in passing touchdowns. There's no way Mahomes set off a to the sunset with that touchdown total. But who cares because this ninth place finish by the skin of our shaft officially completes Will Levis's career challenge. After an improbable, incredible career finishing as the fourth best quarterback in NFL history. As a Titans fan, I'd be happy with this. Now hopefully you enjoyed that one and if you did, you can click right here to watch me play CJ Stroud's career and see if Madden thinks he'll have a better career than Will Levis. Hold on a second. How long have you been able to look at the player profiles of retired players. 